What up, everybody? I'm Zaffa Slater, aka the Comic Outlaw Substitute. More like AKA, I'll take them off. It's what I do. And, uh, man, I'm tired of talking about this guy. My cousin Jax, out skis for a while, call it the flu, call it gel time, call it whatever. Uh, he's still going to be recording the comics, so there's something to look forward to. And uh, Comic Outlaw runs the way Comic Outlaw is supposed to run, so I'm here to substitute for him. No gimmicks, just straight up attitude. And uh, yeah, I have to do the theme song, don't I? All right, it's Funko time. It's Funko time. Oh yeah, it's Funko time. Yeah. A little show called Naruto. It's a good show. Anime. I've talked about animes before in Yasha. I know he's talked about Dragon Ball Z. Great show. Basically about a bunch of students with different powers. Like I said, I use broad strokes just like he does, except I'm a little bit better at summing it up without going, hey, man. But anyways, it's a bunch of students, and they, uh, they get picked by different pupils. They have different abilities. Uh, it's actually pretty cool. There's a wide range of abilities, a wide range of students doing different things. I mean, there's one that looks like Bruce Lee. Very cool. Um, one that has fox powers, like a nine-tailed fox. One that has a magical dead eye that does all kinds of cool stuff. One that reaches into the dead. One that does this. One that does that. It's basically the X-Men on steroids. Or a different version of the X-Men. I recommend it. It's cool. The first season kind of drags. I'm going to be honest with you, in my opinion, it drags a little bit too much. I like story, but a little too much story. So, but once the second season kicks in and the characters, you really start to know the characters, you really start to get a feel for them, there's actually real danger because uh, they're just kind of in training. So it's kind of like Pee Wee Leagues, and then they go up to the minor fields, and then they go up to the big leagues. So it, it's very interesting to kind of watch that evolution, but you have to survive the first season. That's all I'm going to tell you. I got to, like, episode 10, and I was like, man, I thought Dragon Ball Z recapped a lot. Just throwing that out there. After season two, it takes off. Some of you might like storyline like that. Me, it was a little too much. I'm a Rodma one half fan myself, so and Yasha stuff like that. But after the second season, oh man, Mwah. so this is one of my personal favorites. Gar, check him out. Look in the back. That's Naruto, of course. All right, well, Bleach, another good show. Like I said, uh, a lot of good animes. Uh, Heavy Metal Alchemist is good. Ninja Scrolls is good. But this is one of the good ones. It, it went on for a long time. There's a lot of choice episodes. And, uh, yeah, let's open this up. This guy is unique. Well, unique in some ways. He kind of has Sandman's powers. He's able to manipulate Sam. He does all kinds of cool stuff. No, I'm not going to smell the box and be like... Oh. Check this out. Yeah, this guy has a bit of an attitude problem. It's what I've always liked about him. You know, kind of a take it or leave it attitude. Starts off as a bad guy, becomes a good guy, 
And yeah, he has sand powers. And like I said, I use broad strokes so you could get into the character more. I don't like to reveal too much. So that way you could watch it because why drop a ton of spoilers? It kind of ruins the surprise, especially with a lot of episodes. But check this out. Like I said, the sand comes out here, does a lot of cool things with it. He carries it just in case he's in an area with no sand. I mean, kind of a no-brainer. Look at all the wonderful detail. Look at that. And like I said, you got to love Funko. I mean, they take care of all the small details, uh, just like in the animated cartoon. Very cool. I, I actually like the um, do the stand test since it's standard here. I actually like the Earth powers. It was something different because a lot of these guys do sort of chi blasts, energy blasts, you know, different things like that. But I, I thought this guy was unique at the time when they were uh, discovering different enemies or different people. They're like different clans that fight against each other. That's probably the best way to put it. Different schools. And then they become friends. So it's really interesting. You got to watch it to kind of understand what I'm saying. But I love the sand power. Look at this. If you can see it on the camera, you can actually see the way it glitters like sand. Fantastic job from Funko. I mean, Funko produced winners each and every time. I've never really been disappointed as far as a Funko. I mean, there's a few that don't stand. But this one right here, absolutely perfect. I mean, really cool. I like the, the back stand, the background. Everything about this toy just screams elegance. And yeah, it's a great word to describe a Funko. Simply elegant. Said Gar, I recommend watching it. Like I said, the first season kind of drags a little bit. After that, it picks up. I mean, there's a few choice episodes, but a lot of it's storyline. It's kind of like who's going to get the girl. Or, I don't know, it gives you the impression... You got to kind of watch it to see what I'm saying of who's going to get who. It's kind of you read between the lines of that one, if you know what I'm saying. If you know what I mean, Jelly Bean. All right. Check it out one more time. Just so you know what you're buying. Wonderful. And, as always, I'm Zaffa Slater. I'm not going to say that. AKA El Chingon. And this is Comic Outlaw. And as always, I'll catch you on the flip side. Yeah.